Hi again. I'm going to show you another feature from Revit 2019. Just because I love this one, I we do need it a lot. People have been asking me how to do this in the office in multiple projects. I voted on the idea also in the Autotask Ideas website as well. And I'm really glad it's working now. Too bad that we, we have to wait until we upgrade the projects to this version to be able to use it. But in these cases that we have elevation for material scoping elevations, we want to color a certain material and we want, we want to show the color and also a pattern. This happens in many instances, but this is just one example. And the way that we you could do that, you could have a material in shaded and have this hatch as well, uh, but only in shaded. And this is not what we want to do. When, when we want this elevation that we want to show the materials, uh, we want everything else to be white. And even if you'd apply a filter, the filter would then just give you an option for one pattern, or you make it a solid color, or you make it a hatch pattern. So this is great that now we can do it. The way that you do it is you can go to the materials, and you'll see that right now we have this foreground and background for surface and also for cut patterns. So it's not just in the elevation, we can also even apply just two hatch patterns that would combine would make uh, something interesting. But in this case, for these elevations, we don't want to apply this match throughout all views. So the way we do it is you'd select this wall and we would come to the material of this wall, select this finished material. And in this material, you'll see that all the materials now have these two hatches that you can apply to the surface and to the cut pattern as well. So it means that you can do that also. The one that we want to be the solid color would be the background. So we would come and pick a solid fill, for example, and pick a color for the wood finish. And you could just apply. So there you go, quite good. So what this will do is, in the 3D view now, our all is always going to look like that. So it means that it would show in all views. And that's not what we want for these type of drawings, actually. So the way we usually do it, apply view filters because you want to do it also just per view so if we come in the views in the view visibility settings come to the patterns you see that we also have these two options foreground and background if you come to cut patterns you will see we have also foreground and background anyway I'm gonna show you one more thing about this is for instance if we have the cut pattern as well it means that in a plan view we should be able uh, to do the same thing if you change in the materials like we've seen before in the materials we change the cut patterns here we could uh, do it per material but if you want this coarse view of the walls to, to be overridden just there's just one thing to mention is that if you go to edit type and you come here in graphics just have one uh, you could not do the same thing. It would have to be by uh, overrides here. So if you want it to show like this, you could come here, for instance, every wall will be, or by a filter or whatever, but every wall would have those two patterns. And uh, the other thing that you should notice is that that pattern there is the foreground. So if you change another pattern here, in the background so yeah so if you just if you want to use the two patterns you have to come in the view and you just do both so quite interesting yeah?